Hello everyone, the, like usual, let me get this out of the way, I do not own Black Clover, Fairy Tale, any of the characters, names, or in general, manga, anime, I do not own it, or this picture, I am just making a what if, and using them for non-profit reasons, and, and this is non-paid, this is just for fun, alright, since I got that out of the way, I'm up and at him, you know. I'm more awake now than when I was when I before, and when I made this other video. Of part three, this is part four. I forgot to say part three. Uh, what if Asta was a fire dragon slayer? That's how tired I was. Now I'm awake. Yeah, I'll cut the videos on when I made it. So, wait. Yeah, this is part four. All right. So, in the last episode, I have made Mary Lona and also fought, um, the wizards, the mages died, you know, because they killed themselves, and, uh, the guy from that village, Madno, terrorized in the anime, is still alive, and Noelle did learn her sea dragon's prison. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, Marilyn and Austin fought. He passed out, and he blew up a freaking mountain. Half of the mountain, gone, like, spread down the middle. Like, all that straight down the middle, gone. <laughs> so, yeah. Asta, so we're gonna wake, we're having, we're starting off for Asta's waking up. So, yeah. So, Asta started to regain consciousness. He's... A little bit groggy because that was his first time on purpose using all of his magic. He goes, "Did I, did I win?" And Yami, Marilona, and everyone else just hears him. Marilona says, "No, you passed out." It was a good fight, but you passed out because you used too much of your magic. He goes, <laughs> eh. Asa laughs it off. So that's why I laughed. Um, he laughs it off and says, yeah. Uh, first time I ever got really that excited before. Never met anyone like you. <laughs> and when I fought, I never really had to use my flames that much or... At all, I could always just tear right through their magic with ease. Everyone looks at him. Marilyn goes like, "What do you mean?" And he goes, "Remember I told he Asta just sorry. I should really start saying Asta and everything else. I just really try to do. Want to get to this part where I was thinking of. It's the dungeon. So yep. Yeah. Okay, so." He also says, you know when I told you I have everything of a dragon, I have the scales of one too, that's my skin, and the claws of one. So, I'm able to tear through anyone's magic with ease. But my flames, but my flames do add more power to my fists and my strength. So, yeah, she's on the, she looks at him and goes like, oh, okay, like, she understands. Yeah, you know I mean, he just looks at him and goes, You sound like a freaking monster. And Asta just turns his head a little bit to the side. I was like, thinking. He's, then he then it dawns on him and goes, Yeah. He says, It actually does sound like I'm a monster. Heh. <laughs> Funny that. So, Mariana looks at him and she says, Well, I'm gonna get going. And he goes, <laughs> Thanks for the sparring match. It was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was more like I was actually trying to fight you with everything I had, and I was, but you gotta learn to control that heat more. Because I know that's. Asa just basically tells her that's why I always keep it at a low. The beginning level I was at. Or where um, my teacher told me that his son was at. When. It, before he did a two year time skip that could do exactly the same way I told you when I could burn off people's clothing and rocks and everything else around me. It's just that he, he just tells her 
It's the power of his heat that's that strong, but not the actual power of the flame. He has to work on that to control that too. She goes, oh, okay then. She kind of understands it. Not really. Yeah. So she leaves. And Yami looks at him and says, to even go, he just basically looks at him, like tells him, Get to even go toe to toe with her and actually not get that badly da wounded or damaged. That's amazing. You and I have trouble with her. Well, plus, I'm also kind of scared of her. And also, this looks and goes, Why? He goes, You fought her. Aren't you scared? He just says that. He goes, And also, just looks at him and like shakes his head, No. I actually do want to fight with her again in the future. Yami just, oh, just literally says in his head, This kid's a real monster, then. So, a couple weeks go by, and Asta has increased his training. A lot more. And then, you know, Yami does tell... That... No, that they um that the wizard king wants to see Asta. You know, and Yami, you know, Yami and Asta do go to the wizard king, and the wizard king says to Yami, "Long time no see, Yami. How's it been?" And Yami says, "You know, the usual." Also, thanks for the star, and he says, "Ah, oh, you earned it." And then he looks at Asta and goes, Asta, I see that you're, you got even stronger. And I heard that from Marilona that you, that your power or your flames are truly powerful. And then Asta just goes like, yeah, I know. I have been trying to catch up to my teacher's son. It, you know, not to. Then, uh, then... Lord King goes like, not so. I mean, he basically asks, says like this to him. He was like, your teacher's son, Natsu? He goes, yeah, he was the... He didn't tell me much about him. He just said he was a human that died. And his brother brought him back to life. by turned him into a demon. But it was a humanoid form. And he was trained by a dragon, which was my teacher. And then, sent him from time, he fought so many, he got really strong, and, you know, he learned a lot of different things, and his flames were very, very strong the last time he saw him, and he actually decided to not, just to be himself, and not the dragon, or the demon, and just combine the two to become one. It was, hmm, and, Jewess is thinking about this. Then Asta notices, and he goes like, oh, um, don't worry, Wizard King. He's, he's not a bad guy. Natsu is not, like, helping, like, evil. He's actually really nice, the way my teacher said. He actually cares about people. He's not, like, a bad person. He sounds like a good guy. He goes, he goes but you said demon. He goes, yeah. He fought other demons, but he was, like, my teacher, there's probably a lot more that I needed to know, but my teacher only gave me the basic, I was just telling him the basic things I needed to know at the time. He was like, oh, so, do you think you ever, then, you know, I was going to ask if you ever will see his teacher again, he goes, I don't know, he may be dead, maybe not. But if he is alive, then I'll ask him. Or I'll try to find a way to talk to Natsu. Dragneel. And the Wizard King, well, like, is not, is still thinking about it. Like, he's thinking, like, if he's a demon, and he's, like, one of the demons that from the, like, one of those type of demons, then he may be dangerous and he should keep an eye on Asta, but then he doesn't feel like there's anything 
like he's telling the truth that this Nazi person may be a good person, but you know, Julius is Julius. He's over, he thinks some more about it than what he needs to know. But then, let's just say for, for sake of it, I'll still hear the voice, and it's Igneals, and he just says, Natsu was a demon, the, a demon named End, E-N-D, the that would destroy his brother, which is Zeroth, and yeah, he just tells him, just in that few short minutes, everything that he needed to know. Then Natsu goes, just kind of grins, and Julius goes, and you know, me and Julius look at him, goes like, what? And basically, he just says, I just got some more information about Natsu. Then Julius is like, determined to find out more about it, so he asks. I am making not too known in the Black Clover universe. Just want to put that in there. Just want to put this known. He is going to be known. But he is going to be known for being a hero of his world. And that he's one of the greatest mages ever. I have not seen the whole entire thing of the fairy tale, but yeah. So he tells him about how his brother was there if he was a moral being. And that he created Natsu to basically kill him and everything else. And he's called End. And he's a demon. And now uh, he did, like, did become his own his own person. Did not, he chose nor demon or dragon. He just became himself. Because that's him. He can't choose one or the other side. He has to choose both. So he became a dragonoid demon, and that fought for the human race, and kind of fought a freaking other king of all dragons that was going to destroy all humans, so basically, Natsu is basically a hero, and that he's always will be a hero, and protecting others, and his friends, and family, which is his guild called Fairy Tale, and Natsu values more than anything, is family and friends, and then Drew is Sighs in relief, saying, "Okay, <sighs> he's doing. He's and not too. Well, and then Asa does say, asking him what you thought he was gonna probably try to come to the here and kill everyone here. He goes, yes. Jimmy is telling the truth. He goes, yes. I thought we were gonna have a problem if you ever did, but at least I know now he's a good guy. Goes and Asa does tell him." Well, my teacher's a good guy. He's a dragon. <laughs> he taught me magic. Well, the dragon slayer magic. And... Um... He then shows the chain with the two charms. He does tell that Igniel gave him it. And the dragon represents Igniel. And the symbol is the fairy tale symbol, he says. And it is the actual fairy tale symbol, and it represents Natsu. Because it is pink and everything. I mean, it's like the color Natsu has on his right arm. And he does say... Oh, and then he says, I'm like his family. I'm a part of his family now, so Natsu is like my brother. So yeah, it'd be nice to meet him though. He says, oh, okay. But then he does say to Yami and Natsu now to tell you why I'm here. I want you and three different people and two other people to go check out a basically a um dungeon that's opened up and you know he tells and he also goes like a dungeon oh yeah I read about those okay Nami is kind of impressed because he thought he was just a muscle head and then he he basically told us that but then Asta does tell him. Oh, my teacher told me to basically study, get smart, learn about the world, and also don't like all the women. You're a freaking idiot. He goes, what? The wizard king's like, even like, only what? Oh, he goes, oh, um, when I was a little kid, I fell in love with this girl called Sister Lily, who was a nun, and I kept on asking her to marry me when I was a kid. Yeah. My teacher kind of kind of freaking hit me out of that. You know, I was determined to still be alone with her. He kind of made it more... After I was 
learned more from him and I became a little bit smarter, I realized it was a dumb idea. And yeah, I don't know who I like. And I'm just going to be looking for someone. I don't know who. So yeah, this is Lily. Love. He's gone. Asta, I, even I can admit, I hate that. But it is funny all the time. So, but he will not be a pervert. He's going to be just a gentleman. So if anything happens, like with a hot spring incident from the anime or something, he's not going to be like, anyway, he's just going to be just himself. Chill, relax, yells a few only when he needs to, and then, yeah, get angry a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, so when let's just skip ahead with the walls there, and Luck is there, and Asa, and he knows about he does tell them about the Golden Dawn people will be here. So yeah, so same thing happens. Luck is in front of he he activates all the traps and Asa just notices and he grabs Noel. By her side, and she keeps on jumping out of the way, and Noel's like, let go of me, I'm royalty. He says, okay, you want to get trapped? You want I mean, ugh. you want to get into a trap and get hurt? Fine by me. She goes, no. Then he goes, okay, good. So shut it. And then he tells Luck, if you're going to do everything what you want, I'm just going to basically burn all these magic, this magic away. Luck goes like, you can't do that. And Luck kind of has a rivalry going with him, and he doesn't like, because he's the only one who ever beat him. And, uh, basically, Asa just looks at him, a fiery temper goes, yes, I can, don't freaking try me. Well, kind of respect, kind of is not intimidated, but he knows how strong Asta is, even without his magic. So he kind of is like, okay. But then, Asta sniffs the air, he goes, huh, there's some people in here. They might be... Some people from the Dainan Kingdom or Spade Kingdom. I mean, he doesn't know their scent, but he knows you knows there, and the two are people, so those must be his teammates. Um, I do forget who they were, so I think they were from the Diamond Kingdom. Yeah, the Diamond Kingdom. I'm going 100%. Anyone can leave in the comments. Comments about it, and um, I will put in this video that this is gonna be the last video I make for a while because of I have not uploaded any of my videos, and it will be uploaded. I will only upload a video after I um tomorrow, like tomorrow, maybe sometime, I will upload the videos not all at once. Like, every couple, like, hours, I will upload a video. So, yeah. Front, just say that real quick. Go back to it. So, he tells Luck, and Luck goes, you know, his own way. And, yeah. So, Asta goes, like, she never told him. No, Luck looks at him and goes, like, yeah, that was kind of a dumb idea. He goes, yeah, I know. She kind of, like, she is a little bit more open to Asta. Like, she does giggle. She doesn't have, like, that always the world attitude, but she doesn't sometimes. So they're kind of like friends, and um, yeah. So she does start talking to him, asking about his, how did he really get this magic? Was it really from a dragon? He goes, "Yep, he kneels a dragon, the king of all dra fire dragons. Basically, really nice guy. Well, person, if you can call him that. Karen, he um." He told me I broke from my limit. Basically, he just telling her, I broke from my limit and I got to the strength of his son and when he trained for two years. Straight. She goes, really? He goes, she asked how. He, says, he basically just told me it's because of my fiery determination. I want to become the Wizard King and I don't like to give up. That's my way. How I live. I never give up. Even if it's, I'm about to die, I'll still fight on. She's looking at him, and it's like she's kind of impressed by it. Says, what happens if people tease you or anything because of our well, family? It was like, oh, I don't care if they do. They can freaking 
fight me if they want. She's just kind of looking like, even if they're royalty, he goes, oh, <laughs> even if they're royalty, I'll still beat them. She goes, what about me? I goes, oh, no, you're my teammate. You're cool. She kind of blushes by this because she doesn't know what what to think. He just says, well, you're my teammate. I don't have nothing against you. You know, like the worlds who are snobs. I mean, you do act snobby sometimes, but hey, it's you. So you are. Can't help it. Besides, you were also really cool by them. Just because you're magic, you can't control it properly. But hey, I don't care. That isn't who you are. Your magic shouldn't be like how they define you. It should be how they or treat you. It should be like a personality. Now, oh, is kind of happy to hear this. Then she activates the trap that and that you know that holds Asta and the well and the cannon. But instead, he burns it and then he just. There's Iron Fist a Dragon! And punches it. Again with the sound effects. Cannot help it. It's who I am. I want to try to stop it. I will only do it once in a blue moon. But I think it helps. And this is how I am when I was a kid. When I was bored. I came up with stories in my head. And I did the sound effects because I have to know. I'm sorry. It's a habit I cannot break. That's just me slapping the back of my neck, trying to tell myself, don't freaking do it. But if anyone likes it, please tell me. Alright. So, yeah, he kills the plant monster. Before Yuno can even fire his wind. And then he looks. Then Asta just sniffs the air and he says, Hey, you know, long time no see. You know, just looks at him and left Mimosa. Also, he did catch Noel. And then he stepped the air and then he says that while holding Noel. And they got the glasses. So the Iron Mage just looks at Asta and he was like, and sees the Black Bulls. He goes, Oh, the Black Bulls. Why are those like this worthless people? Both of some mages here. And then Asta just looks at him. Just like, You wanna say that again, bub? Like, I am, like, had some, You know, he just, I just think what will happen. So, Noel sees his veins popping up inside, like, he's actually getting pissed. And she doesn't know how he is when he's pissed, because she never seen him. He's always out to calm and collected at some points and just yells and be loud, but never pissed. So, uh, yeah, she tells Lassa to calm down, and he does. He calms down, he goes, sorry. And let's just say there was some, some flames coming off his body, and she did not want to get burnt. And yes, his determination... It is also a kindle for the flames to actually keep on getting hotter and stronger. But it's also his anger. So, yeah, I think I forgot to mention it in the last video because I was not even awake all the way. So, I was tired. So, yeah. He goes like, a Yuna just says, don't mind him. This is how he is. And, you know, he says that to Asta. Yuna says it to Asta. And Mimosa goes, hi, Noel. And he goes, hi. And Asta looks at or Noel and then Mimosa and then he goes like you two know each other? And he, yeah we're cousins he, she, he just says oh cool so Asa just starts to walk away and then he, then you know says we're gonna get to the treasure first and, and everything else and then he just Tells, you know, okay, just be careful. There's probably some diamonds or spades or hearts, whatever people just in here. I just smelled some other people in here. That's all. Just want to let you know. All right. You know, says, okay, thanks. Then the Iron Mage asks, you know, say, who is he? He goes, oh, that's Asta. He was from my, hot. he was from the same village as me, hot village. 
and he has a magic that does not need no grimoire. And then Dire Mage looks at Asta, and he sees no grimoire. He goes, How? And you know, goes, Dragon Slayer magic. Never heard of it, don't really care about it. But it's very powerful, it's very dangerous, and Asta only uses maybe half of his strength or even less in the the heat of the flaming and the power. Also, don't ever get him pissed off. There's one point where I only saw him get pissed off against a guy that was insulting me. And that guy was sent flying into a tree. And the tree broke. He just warned the Iron Mage. So he is more and more curious about Asta, but disgusted that, you know, he's a commoner and that he has a magic that does not need a grimoire. So he has full control over over the power of it and everything. And he's like, so he does not need to know any, like, new spells or anything that has to learn. He is always stronger than everyone. And then he does ask, so how strong is he? Well, you know, is they made that wind chair and they're like flying off. He says, well, he was trained by a dragon for three months. And he mastered it by three months. The rest, you know, the training. It's just the rest of it he has to learn on his own. And uh, basically, he just says he has everything of a dragon. Senses, hearing, taste, smell, strength, scales, claws. He's able to tear through my wind magic with ease. Yeah, that part about the because of how tough his his skin is and the claws, he's able to do it. And the Mosa and the Four Eyes and the you know, Iron Mage Four Eyes is just amazed by it. So yeah. So, Nezu is also there with him, and they he actually show like makes him. They actually do lead the way. They actually were worried about luck, then they do lead the way, and then yeah. So when luck's about to run out of magic and everything else, you know they do come in. Asa does come in, save him with an iron fist, a dragon to the guy's face, and sent him flying, and that does not come out. And then he does tell luck that you have to rely on other people. You can't do everything by yourself. He says, oh, I'm stronger. He goes, no, I'm stronger than you. I beat you. And, you know, and then Luck says, oh, yeah. Yeah, but I'm still stronger than you. I got more mad. And then Asta just <laughs> shows her. You really want to see my freaking flames? How strong I really am? And Luck goes, yeah, you can't be that. And then Asta just bursts his flames out. And, like, the heat is just getting into a lot. And everyone else in that area... So, like, the freaking guy with the smoke. And I it's just shot to see that this guy's flames are just this pow are this strong. He says, this is only the heat. This isn't even the power. I unlock the heat with my determination. You really think you're stronger than me? Then come at me right now and actually use your lightning on me. Luck doesn't even know what to do. He's... Actually is afraid for the very first time in his life. He goes. Uh, he does then. Says. He does look down the ground. And. People with clothing are starting to burn. And then he just. Like, sting, he just stops using his flames right away. And the well clothes were getting a little bit burned. Off. And she was like. How hot are your flames? And he goes. Look at your clothing. There was only like. Little holes. That were starting to form. On everyone. And he goes. No one goes there. You, yeah, that's how hot my flames are from the heat. My power, well, it could be even stronger than that, but I have to train more. And then he tells Luck, you gotta rely on teamwork and everything else. The same thing that, like, in the original. And he just looks the guy with the, look with the, you know, smoke. And he asks, hey, is anyone with you? Else with you, and he goes. Then he goes. If I tell you, you're gonna beat me up more. He goes. No. If you tell me, I won't. Promise. So he just sighs. I go. Okay. Thank you. And then he goes. Yeah. There's a guy who's going to the chamber. 
because we already found he already found it, so he went that way, and he was like, "Crap, you know." So yeah, you know. So the same time happens with Mimosa, you know them, you know, and um, the Iron Age are having troubles because of the clones of diamonds, crystals, whatever. They're having troubles, and you know who's a about is like having troubles. Even though he trained with Asta a lot, he is having troubles. Like I, I, I told you, him and him and Asta this far. When he was younger, I think I did say when he learned about his magic, he does far when he gets stronger. So yeah. So right when Yuna's about to get hit by the sword, Asta just comes in and just. He just says, Iron Fist of Dragon, and punches the crystals, breaking it in half, and exploding it. You know is shocked, so is the Iron Mage, and then, including the crystal, the Diamond Mage, is just, you know, shocked to see. He looks at, you know, he actually comes over to him and says, you know, are you okay? He goes, yeah, he's just badly, you know, just has a couple of, you know, scar, not scars, but just dust and bruises, but he'll be alright. And then he looks at Mimosa. And this is where the fire temper comes in. You see that, you know, sees those veins coming out. See, like, what happened to Lucy with Gaijin, you know, the iron dragon slayer? And he had those veins popping out of his head. That's what happens. He doesn't, like, and the heat's coming off of his feet. And then he just turns back to the guy and just says, Did you do this? And he literally just asks him, like, Hey, did you do this? He goes, Yes. She's weak. She deserves to die. Yeah. The Diamond Mage says it. And then he asks, you know, how did she get these wounds? And you know, basically tells him about the sneak attack. And that's when Asta really, really does get pissed. He just clenches his fists. You see more steam coming off of the ground. Then he says, he tells everyone just to get out of my way. And then the guy with the actual freaking the Iron Mage just says, You can't take all take these clones and him by yourself. And then basically Yuno know, just tells him, Don't tell him what to do. He's stronger than you. And he goes, I, then, you know, he does say, I'm sort of pure superior, and we don't need help from a black bull. And also, just taking off the uniform of the black bull, throws it to, you know, says, hold on to this. I don't want this to get ruined. And basically, he's in gold fire fire, and he says, I'm taking you on by myself to the Diamond Mage. And the Diamond Mage says, no, just you, you weakling by yourself. You have no grimoire. How can you? And then Asa just has that face, like, he, the, there's, like, fangs showing, and he just says, I don't need no grimoire to kick your butt into submission to even win. And the flames are, like, all around him. And then, so, he the clothes are going at him. And then he just says, Drag the sacred art. Phoenix explosion. And all the flames are just, like, he just... Throws the flame to a circle, and there's like always explosion. And he's then he just runs right past them, right through the, right through the dust. And he says, he just says, Iron Fist of Dragon, and punches the guy in the face, sending him flying into the wall, into the wall, and then he falls right into the water. He goes, only one punch. I was you're weaker than that, I thought. You know, then the crystal. Then he comes up with the crystals, doing a sneak attack on Asa, basically hitting him like he did the anime, ripping his shirt and everything else. And then, right when he doesn't like, he holds it there saying, "You weakling, shouldn't learn your place, your gun." And then he just hears like cracking, and then he just Asa just pushes them to the side, he says. Now you really done it. You pissed me off. 
And then his flames are actually burning hotter. And they're matching up in the crystals. And everyone sees his... They just see the look in his eye. And they're basically... Mimosa... Locked... Noel And the... You know... The Iron Man sees just how ripped Asta is. And he actually does say... How much training has he done to get that by the Iron Mage says that like usual and you but I don't think you know told him all his life because he had no magic like he did in the original because everyone he I think everyone knew he had no magic but in this one since he does he basically just tells him he had no magic from the very beginning he was born he goes but then how does he have magic of no remorse he says it was he was given it and was trained in it. By a dragon, hence called a dragon slayer. And he just tells him that. And he goes, but that's redundant for a dragon to teach him how to kill other dragons. You know, just says, I know, but hey, he just said dragons did this too. Because there were so many dragons killing people, humans, and yeah, they, he, the dragons were helping them out. So basically, that happened. Yeah, you know, uh, and then he just basically just, they just see him just start pounding his fist into the crystal body, punched it, kicking it, and it's melting. And he does say, tail of dragon, wing of dragon, breath of dragon. Yeah. You know, the usual, and then dragon stick of art, spearhead, or, uh, I really just, I'm just thinking it's called spear because it looks like a spear to me. So yeah, he slams into the butt, into the crystal body. And it's almost melted. Then he just says, then he really just says, I'm gonna finish this with one final move. And let's just say, the anti magic demon does show the black. He does have a reddish black flame now. And he says, and uh, anti magic demon says, Demon Dragon Punch! Wait, or Demon Dragon Iron Fist? Yeah, Demon Dragon Iron Fist. So Officer just says it and BOOM! It cracks a whole entire crystal giant part and just sends the guy flying again, but he's knocked out for now. But he's not knocked out for long. And Asa doesn't know why he said that. It's just a new move he learned. And yes, I will bring the demon out more and more, but it's only really just give him new moves. So yeah. So Asa comes over to everyone. Noelle is looking at him, and she's blushing. Novosa is blushing. Love is just shocked. And, you know, same thing with the Iron Mage. He's shocked. And he's there looking at the duck, but then Asa goes to, you know, grabs his little cloak and says about, asks about the door, saying, and then, you know, says it's magically sealed. And he goes, oh, I can take care of that. And Iron Fist of Dragon to the door and blows it up. <laughs> you know, so they go in. Oh, you know, I did say I was going to decide on what Asa was going to get. And this is the sword scarps coming in. Just for some reason, just for freaking reasons, they find a, he finds a scarf that's white. It looks like Natsu's, but it's a little bit different. It, it has a little bit of red in it. I don't know why. I'm just making it a little bit different. That's all. There's like a little bit symbol. Let's say that this was from a royal that was given this was was friends with a dragon, and they viewed its its scale into it, and that's what it's made out of. And the red is for the dragon, and it's not a Neil's scales; it's just another dragon. So yeah, so Asta puts it on and everything else. Nero finds a stone. I think that's where another stone comes in. Or not. No. That's Demon Dwell Sword. 
the original. But, um, or just, a, okay, let's just say they might have been a stone and demon troll sword. If there's not a stone, then, you know, that part's just a what if, or maybe, yeah, a maybe, so yeah. But, you know, Asa does look around for more. And then, there's a really funny moment I want to put in. He finds... No, no, not, not a funny moment. Okay. You know, does find the scroll. It does disappear. He has the wind spirit. Asa gets a scar. But then, he even gets, he just finds some more boots and a new jacket. And it looks like Natsu's jacket from the second season. You know, the long one said the little short one. The long one with the arm. Yeah. He's saying, okay, this is great. It can cover my, my body now. And it has a magic imbued into it to be more durable and it won't rip or tear or burn. Because Asa was worried about his clothing being burned. And his boots, too. Or shoes too, but he got that. And this scarf does have some magic ability to protect his body from any magic that will harm him. Since um, he has not much magic defense. So yeah. That's what the scarf does. He doesn't know it. But I just want really everyone to know that. I did was going to give some awesome, some good gear to protect him. So he does take off his sh sneakers and every and his shoes and everything else, put them on, and then he says, "Huh, I feel a little bit lighter, more agile." Noel looks at him and was like, "Really?" And this is where the crystals does hurt Noel, and then Asta does get a little bit pissed off. Actually, he does scream out, "Noel!" And then Mimosa is Elo. She starts healing him. I mean, not healing him, healing her. And then people die mage and everything else, and you know, are covered in crystals. And the guy is using flame magic to heal himself and, you know, be healed. And he's like, all of you are weak, like the original. And then Asta just tells him, <laughs> Oh, you have flame magic too. Well then. <laughs> That's good for me. He just runs up to the guy, and they're like, "So Noel knows he can eat mag, eat flame magic, but Mimosa and Lux and well, also Lux was encased by it too, crystals and uh, Iron Mage says, "You idiot! Don't do it!" And I did actually just tell him, "Don't, don't do it. You'll get hurt." And then you know says. He won't get hurt. If he eats that flame magic, he'll become even stronger. And then what? And then she does say exactly. Then Noel tells them, I seen it. He will get stronger if he eats that magic. So he dodges the crystal attacks and everything else, even the blades, and then just jumps right onto him and just starts sucking. No, he just starts, he just grabs the fire and just starts eating it and then swarming him like it was spaghetti. And then he jumps away and the flame magic is still being eaten by him. You know, so he can't heal no more. Yay! And he was like, the, Chris, the iron, I mean the diamond mage says, you, you ate my flames. So he goes, and I says, yep, yeah, they were pretty good. But... Let me tell you what my magic is. As he lifts his body in flame. You know, does pound his fist into his hand. And then tells him, like, they actually get the look from Natsu from Fairy Tale with the red eyes. And he goes, I'm a dragon slayer. And then, pretend you're hearing the theme song from Fairy Tale. If you want to, play it. Because I'm going to make it. He just starts... Freaking go from his body of flames, you know, running towards him, and then starts punching him again. Starts punching him, but this time he's actually then it says he just says Iron Fist of Dragon, but then he says Rapid Fire, 
gallon gun and just starts punching him he goes and then he's like saying this is for Mimosa you know and then you know and then like he starts starts naming people you know for the people like he's like hurt or try to hurt and then you know he's just fighting on it. he's like even you get more angry more determination to win his flames keeps are getting stronger and then he just starts doing ass kick fire um his you know does an ass kick as in fire but it's it like this tail of dragon ass kick he just start making different moves now I am putting that in there, at least it just starts making different moves. Just, just because he's going to start using them now. And then when he's actually about done, he does, he does start the mark on his left arm where the demon mark is, start, start to come out more. And then his eye does go red and then the flame starts to turn blackish red again and then he goes and this is for Noel for her and her you you know and Noel kind of blush a little and he goes Demon Dragon Iron Fist Cane Smash Yes I said Smash because he's he's basically pretend Asta you know, like I said, he has control over his flames. So he's able to, you know, make them hot and touch stuff and move everything around. So he engulfs his hand into the, you know, as a fist. And then his fist is bigger and it's just a big giant flame that's black and red. And just, boom, punches the guy at cracking the golem crystal giant armor. And he just breaks it. So yeah. That's how it ends. And the place starts coming down. Asta still has a lot of magic. Because he ate more. You know. And they, he tells them. Let's, he does try to grab him. But then something falls. No. Actually. He does grab him. They're running. And you know. It's like low on magic. He said he can't take everyone. Then he sees the diamond mages. You know. Getting treasure. He just. Chucks him over to them and he lands on the goal. And then Diamond Mage just look and it's just awesome. He says, Take care of him for me, will ya? Make sure he gets healed so I can find him again. It's really fun. I hope he does change. He will. So, you know, they get out. And then Diamond Mage accepts him. Accepts him and you know, saying, I'm sorry for misjudging you both. You both are really true magic, ma magic knights. And I should have not judged because of what your status. And he just tells them. You know, you know just has that stereo. It doesn't matter. I would become a wizard king anyway. And Asta just says. Just pats him on the back. Says, <laughs> That's alright. Heck, I don't even care if you judge me by my status. As long as you judge me as a person. Then he's. Then he doesn't move the glasses up. And he does see like. No one can see his eye because of the heavy. You know, they just see like. like Glare in the eye, the glare on his glasses only, not not the eyes. And, and I should say he is starting to tear up a little bit because he didn't know that such a kind person existed. He's been around royalty that like judges and be mean. And you know they do get back. Lot Noel and Asa do get back. Tells them Captain Yami the report. Yami says good job, and he does tell Asa it looks like your flames are getting stronger and you learned a new move. He goes, yeah, I don't know how, though. He's just, he's just saying. And then, that's what it says, but, hey. <laughs> I heard that voice before. I guess it's on my side for now, at least. Or something. And, Noel looks at him and goes, huh? I guess, eh, the Black Flames. Some voice told me the name of it. Anti-Mag... Hey, Demon Dragon. Anti-Magic Iron Fist. So... Yeah, and that's where I'm at. All right, everyone. Hope you have a nice night. Or, well, I'm still I'm recording tonight. So yeah, almost fifty minutes. I'm gonna go. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, and everyone have a nice night. Bye.